What's up guys? Jesse here. I haven't uploaded a Smash video for a while, but a new community mod for Brawl has been released and it really caught my attention. This isn't a full review as I'm just starting to play it, but more of a general highlight of what I feel is most important to mention. Legacy XP2 rises from the ashes of Project M using version 3.6 as a base and expands on it with hundreds of levels, a few new characters, and new game modes. Let's talk about the characters first. Young Link, Dr. Mario, Pichu, and Lucina have been brought over from their respective Smash games with a few tweaks to improve their usability. Newcomers include Ridley from the Metroid series. Ridley's attacks include a fireball that can be charged up, a dash attack that snatches up other players where they can potentially be carried to their death, and various attacks with his claws or tail. He can also fly for a brief duration. I know that many people have wanted to see Ridley in an official Smash entry, but his character is supposed to be large and menacing. While he's fun to play as, you can see that he had to be nerfed in order to offer a fair fight against the other brawlers. Waluigi is finally given the spotlight. He's extremely floaty with offbeat attacks that take inspiration from his pal, Wario. Waluigi can belt out a Wah! attack to push other players back, as well as swim or spin in the air. His moveset could use some tweaking, but I'm happy to say he's a pretty functional character. His alternate costumes are just as bizarre, by the way. Gino from Super Mario RPG joins the fight, and his attacks and sound effects are taken straight from the SNES classic. Gino can cast a star shower and shoot a charged beam from his wand. Some of his attacks require nuance and timed button presses to be the most effective, and there's a bit of a learning curve to get the most out of his playstyle, but he's one of my favorite additions. Metal Sonic is fast and explosive, his moves taking inspiration from Sonic CD. Metal Sonic can dash forward, spin, and charge an explosive blast around him. He's pretty useful in his current form, and his attacks differ enough from Sonic to offer a unique moveset that is true to his character. Shadow the Hedgehog also joins the fight. He's not quite as fast as Sonic, but his moves are more powerful. Shadow can shoot out his Chaos Spear, as well as dash into enemies with his skates. Like Sonic, he can execute a spin attack, but I actually prefer Shadow as his attacks give you more power and control over your enemies. Mage Ganondorf seems to be the star of the show here. No longer a clone of Captain Falcon, his attacks complement the Dark Lord, with evil magic and projectiles that pay homage to his appearance in the Ocarina of Time. Mage Ganondorf can deflect attacks back at his opponents, leap in the air, and crash into the ground with a devastating blow. He's truly menacing, and it makes you wonder why Nintendo couldn't have figured out a better way to portray him in Smash for all these years. The hundreds of levels I mentioned are cleverly chosen through button combinations on the stage select screen. While most are simply variants of their default arena, there's often stark contrast between them. Levels from every game in the series are present as well as a few originals. One of the new modes is called War. In it, you can steal a life back from foes that you've defeated. It's a pretty interesting mechanic and actually a lot of fun to play. While Legacy XP may not be tournament focused like Project M was, there's certainly a fair amount of polish and effort put into it, and with it being a work in progress, there's no telling how many new surprises may come in the future. At the end of XP 2.0's trailer, we see a teaser for another new challenger. Many speculate this character may be Mega Man X or Zero. Who do you think the next fighter is? What are your thoughts on Legacy XP or Project M? Are there any important features I might have forgotten to mention? Share your thoughts and suggestions with me, and be sure to like or subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you for your support, and keep on gaming, guys. I'll see you next time.